And now, the general weather around Alaska. Today's hazardous weather graphic uh, starting up in the north. Still a blizzard warning out on the eastern Arctic coast for tonight. Winds uh, gusting to 50 miles an hour, creating whiteout conditions and blowing snow up in that area. Kaktovik, Barter Island, improving back to the west there. And then a wind chill warning out for the southern Kobuk and southern Koyukuk Valley areas for cold wind chills. Wind chill advisories out for the uh, Shishmaref area into the Bering Strait, Teller, Wales, and those uh, locations there. And uh, winter storm warning for the Yukon Delta for snow and blowing snow. Blizzard warning for the Nunavak Island area, Cuscombe Delta, Bristol Bay for heavy wind and snow there as well. Winds gusting 30 to 60 miles an hour here across the Yukon Cuscombe Delta into Bristol Bay today. And uh, very windy conditions with that wind chill warning out there. Uh, for eastern Norton Sound into the southern Koyukuk Valley area. Windchill advisories there across, the, across and north of the Alaska Range there into the 40 mile country out for tonight. And a winter weather advisory for the western Kenai Peninsula into Anchorage and Palmer as uh, snow continues to move in anywhere from three to six inches possible. Winter storm warning for heavy snow for the eastern North Gulf Coast, specifically the greater Yakutat area and then some winter weather advisories out for the Panhandle due to snow, except up Klondike Highway, that's a wind chill advisory. And satellite imagery here showing uh, moisture streaming in toward the uh, southeast coast today. Uh, light amounts of uh, snow in the north and some actually drier conditions down to the south to some clearing over the Queen Charlotte Islands. And then we've got a band of snow moving into the Kenai Peninsula and Cook Inlet area, southern Cook Inlet back into Bristol Bay. This second band here, that has the uh, wind and heavier snow with it, with uh, moderate heavy snow occurring all across Bristol Bay and up into the Yukon Delta today with winds again gusting anywhere from 30 to 60 miles an hour. And uh, this pushing northward there toward the Bering Strait into St. Lawrence Island. Very cold temperatures again over the interior and a little milder on the outer coast due to winds, clouds, and areas of snow there, especially on the east side. And rolling that through again, you can see this uh, moisture continues to increase, bringing moisture and eventually warmer temperatures into uh, from the southwest interior. Upper 20s there at King Salmon this afternoon. Still uh, below zero, though, for much of the Kenai Peninsula into northern Cook Inlet. And, of course, far below zero for the Sitna Valley into the interior again. Uh, but warmer temperatures on the way into at least the southern areas here. Uh, with the uh, warm front here, snow spreading northward north of Kenai, but still south of Anchorage, but uh, into Portage and Seward. And that'll continue to increase here for the North Gulf Coast tonight. Weak low off the North Coast brought some light snow over the Northern Panhandle. There's a trough bringing the blizzard conditions to the Eastern Arctic Coast. Cold and variably cloudy to mostly clear in the central part of the state and milder westerly flow here over the uh, southern Bering Sea and the Aleutians with uh, shower conditions, especially along this trough swinging across the eastern Aleutians. And for tonight, that front kind of elongates from east to west here, or it does elongate from east to west here over the north central Bering Sea. And uh, conditions improve for the Pribilof Islands, but snow uh, across much of the southwest interior. In fact, all of southern Alaska will see snow tonight uh, up to about the Alaska Range area. Another cold night, especially over the Yukon Flats, down over toward Eagle, and those areas still falling, areas falling uh, below 50, below zero, but generally milder, definitely milder here across southern Alaska, and uh, rising above zero for the areas that haven't already, down to the south, and uh, pretty mild for Bristol Bay, staying in the upper 20s for the lows tonight, and snow for the northern panhandle, dry to the south. And then for tomorrow, this low creeps eastward here, keeping uh, periods of light snow along the North Gulf Coast areas in the Prince William Sound. Maybe the Copper River Basin, this weakening front, look for areas of snow, cloudy skies, warmer temperatures here across the southern part of the state. Tomorrow, still clear and cold up to the north and then back into the clouds from the North Slope and Arctic Coast. Now just some uh, areas of light snow or snow showers with uh, diminished winds here for the Eastern Arctic Coast. And down to the south here, uh, looks like it'll stay dry from about uh, Petersburg on down toward Dixon Entrance. Chance of moisture along the coast, better chances up on the north coast of the southeast panhandle. Next storm here pushing uh, 
gale force winds, rain and snow into the Aleutians with the low center moving up toward ADAC in the afternoon, front advancing eastward. So possible gale force winds with uh, rain for the Alaska Peninsula and eastern Aleutians. And they'll start shifting up late in the day toward the Pribilof Islands. And definitely wind and snow for the Pribilofs on Monday. Gale force winds here on the east side of this low center along the front and then uh, lighter winds down to the south. And a trough here, remnants of the first front, keeps uh, snow going over the southwest interior, Bristol Bay, up into the Cuscombe Delta. Lesser amounts for the Yukon Delta, especially as you get in toward Norton Sound. Light snow, breezy conditions, St. Lawrence Island. A few isolated snow showers for the Arctic coast, and that's about it. Otherwise, the interior, uh, definitely warmer. Highs, maybe Fairbanks pushing up a shade above zero for the highs, maybe. Staying below zero over toward the east and toward the north. And still, the best chance of moisture will be along the central north coast of the Panhandle in toward Glacier Bay. Dry elsewhere, so not too bad there for the southeast coast. And also improving in the afternoon for Kodiak Island. Lows tonight again into the uh, minus 50s over the Yukon Flats. And uh, otherwise, minus 30s for the Copper River Basin. Been anywhere from zero to 10 below for uh, the Susitna Manuska Valleys, milder for the Kenai Peninsula and upper 20s Kodiak Island and teens around Skagway and Haines, 28 for Juneau and then above freezing in the 30s for the southern southeast coast, upper 20s for the Pribilof Islands in the 30s for the Aleutians. And for the highs tomorrow, into the teens, 10 to 20, call it for South Central Alaska, actually 15 to 20 here with uh, upper 20s, or upper, upper 20s for Homer, upper 30s for Kodiak, and uh, in the uh, 30s for the Panhandle in the north, otherwise some areas rising into the lower 40s, staying below zero north of the Alaska Range, but the Cuscombe Valley warming up, northern Cuscombe Valley staying below zero, but much milder to the south into Bristol Bay here, mid-30s for the Pribilofs, and the 30s for the Aleutians, and lows uh, Monday morning. 40 to 50 below still for the Yukon Flats there and well below zero here, but not as far below zero for the Tana Valley area and South Central Alaska, everybody back above zero here, anywhere from five to 15 for the lows and uh, uh, shade below zero, call it five to 10 below for the Copper River Basin and upper teens to mid twenties, Northern Panhandle, lower thirties to the South. That'll be followed by highs in the 30s for Bristol Bay, Kodiak Island, Alaska Peninsula, near 40 for in Alaska, and mid 30s for the Pribilofs. Still 25 to 30 below for the highs for the Yukon Flats, but again, Tanana Valley coming up towards zero, minus seven for Tanana, and uh, in the 30s for the central and southern southeast coast.